guys coming at you with another video today on this um, Tuesday morning ish so today I want to talk about one big subject and that I've talked about it before and it's swollen lymph nodes um, with anxiety and we kind of panic about them and it can get really frustrating I've seen other videos on this but is it a very important topic and it can be very frightening so swollen lymph nodes basically your body your neck alone has like 50 different lymph nodes in it and there are lymph nodes all over your body, and they react to um, sicknesses in the body. When you have, they basically release antibodies to fight infections. Um, they are very essential to the immune system, but they can be compromised, i.e. they can become infected, um, or they can become cancerous, or they can become lymphoma. Um, lymphoma is just like a form of cancer, they're the lymph nodes. Um, and so I had a swollen lymph node for around uh, five to six months that I had really noticed. This could have been swollen longer. This has constantly been here. And so on this side, the neck, it's about 1.2 centimeters long, which is fairly big based off of that kind of scale. Um, and I got a CT scan for it. Um, and I wanted to give you a perspective from someone to give you reassurance kind of thing, especially with people that have swollen lymph nodes. I know these can be scary kind of thing. And I know you, know, you want to get them checked out but I'm gonna kinda give you things that I'm looking for from the, my appointment that I just had, I literally just had it. I got a um, ultrasound on him. So my lymph node was about, like I said, 1.2 um, centimeters long. It was shaped kinda like an almond, which is a good sign. You want, so basically it was shaped, it wasn't fat, it was just elongated, which is a good sign, not worrisome. Lymph nodes that are worrisome and that can are typically fatter and rounder and they typically are around one centimeter long, but also one centimeter wide. Mine was about 0.4 centimeters long. So it was very, very thin in the elongated part. So that in and of itself was good reassurance because he said there's nothing worrisome, but things that you should be, be worried about if it does like progress or if somehow, and I have to check it you know, monthly kind of thing, see if it gets bigger. And that's fine, but he's like, there's nothing, nothing here. And he could say it with a lot of confidence, he's done it a ton, he's done it for like 30 years. So, um, like I said, you want to look for like fatter lymph nodes. But another thing too, like with anxiety and stuff like that, you want to panic about these certain things. And to, to be honest, this is how this happens. Typically from an infection, mono is a huge one when lymph nodes get massive like absolutely massive like grape sized um, because of just the severe infection then they take a while they could take a long time to go down or they don't go down at all it's just how it is um, another thing too and I've done a lot of this which makes a little bit of sense is I've gotten a lot of dental work lately um, and dental work basically when they do cleaning and stuff like that your mouth is extremely dirty it makes sense you stuff a lot of shit in there so when they're cleaning and stuff, what they can do is they these pockets and stuff in your mouth that's holding maybe some bacteria can get released in parts of your throat or other parts of the body causing infections that they've kind of been growing in before. Now they've been moved. Now they cause different infections. That's another possible. That's the number one. Dental work can be one of the number one reasons for swollen lymph nodes. Um, Another thing too is like obviously getting infected, infections, your lymph nodes are going to swell. So you're going to have swollen lymph nodes and sometimes they don't go down. Um, in very, very rare, rare cases, they can be cancerous, they can be lymphoma. So um, looking at those issues, I mean, there's nothing for the most part, nothing to be worried about. And you know, you just want to be careful and like monitor things like they have to be severely fat. And the reason why mine too are much more noticeable is I have an extremely thin neck and like 1.2 centimeters. Yes, if it was like wide, that's, that's not that big, but that's huge for a lip node. But the fact that it's like along my neck, like the structure of my neck and it's going the direction, like they're like bean shaped. And it was like a, basically if you stretched a bean out. Um, and it kind of maintained its shape, but it was a little bit longer. It turned into an almond. Um, so nothing severe. Um, great news, obviously. Like, it feels good to get that. The other thing, too, is it is expensive. And I don't know how much an ultrasound is. 
I don't think it's going to be that expensive. But I didn't get a biopsy. That would that would have been the next step. Um, and like I just I when I was sitting in there, I'm like, man, I am just so sick of going to the doctor. Like I, you just to a certain extent, like you just get so sick of going to the doctor. And that's just like, like I, if 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 someday that I come to the conclusion like I can't even function, kind of thing, then I'll start going to the doctor. But to, to a certain extent, I've just I've gotten to the point where I'm just like it, the mind is now switched. It's like it's anxiety. All these things are just anxiety, dry mouth. Uh, swollen nose, uh, dr uh, shortness of breath, uh, trouble swallowing, uh, tickling of the ear, tickling of the face, numbness in the face, uh, uh, pressure, head pressure, tension in the forehead, all this kind of stuff in this facial reason, the main, the main part of the symptoms, all gone away. I haven't had to have any medical procedure for all of this, except for getting my wisdoms pulled out, which are irrelevant. So... When it really comes down to it, most of these things, and I just wanted to basically touch on lymph nodes and stuff like that. Lymph nodes can swell. They are good if they are swelling. If they stay swollen, they can become a problem, but they have to become really, really swollen. Um, and even then, sometimes, most of the time, it's not that much of a problem. But in this case, you know, totally fine. Throat looks great. Tongue looks great. Lymph nodes look fine good to go. So, hope this is a good, like, reassurance video for all those people that are suffering from swollen lymph nodes. I know it can be a thing. And personally, I've read studies up on how it can come from anxiety. Now, lymph nodes swell because of reactions, but, you know, it's, it's our bodies. They're so complex. We don't know all the answers. So, you know, got to take it one day at a time. Got to be a little bit happier because we know Stick to the principles I talked about yesterday. You can live a much better, healthier life. So, hope you guys enjoy. Peace.